Hi, and welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles. Did you know through January 21st, 2013 only, when you purchase the limited edition My Little Valentine stamp set, you get absolutely for free the Seal with Love Simply Set Card Kit? Yay! Okay, so you already know how to make these cards. I showed those in the catalog. I have made a cute Valentine project with these, so I wanted to show you what I've done, so come and watch! So here's a closer view for you for the limited edition My Little Valentine stamp set. When you purchase this through January 21st, 2013 only, you get enough materials to make 10 of these sweet envelopes with uh, little notes inside. You get the instructions and then see all the materials. Um, the little note cards go inside. Uh, two different styles there, one with a flower and one with a heart. Uh, real red baker's twine and some die cuts and stamp and dimensionals and just so cute. And so, like I said, I've made a project beyond this because you can see how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and start with our tag first. And what I'm really excited is for our little Valentine treat holder, I didn't use any more materials than it would take for one card. I'm hoping that makes sense. I didn't use double of anything because I didn't want to leave you short on cards if you only wanted to make one or two or, or all ten. I wanted you to have enough for all ten or enough for cards too. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and make the tag. Stamp and write markers I'm going to use to color this sweet little stamp are from the Sealed with Love Simply Scent Kit. We have Real Red, Calypso Coral, Pool Party, Very Vanilla, and Whisper White. We don't have a Very Vanilla <laughs> marker, but I do have some Whisper White cardstock I'm going to use. Okay, so let's go ahead and color these in also quickly. We'll use the brush end and color in um, the words and this border that goes around it and that flower in the center, that big flower in the center. Well, you know, big compared to the rest. <laughs> and then pool party for the flowers on the side, on either side, and then Calypso Coral right here. Do you know Calypso Coral and Pool Party are 2011-2013 in color, so we have them through the end of May. Okay, so um, the markers are a dye-based ink, which means they're water-based, and that means they dry very, very quickly as I was coloring and talking. So I'm going to huff to revitalize that ink and stamp. Voila! Isn't that beautiful? And so now I'm going to use my Hearts Collection Framelits, and look how sweet that is, because we're going to make a tag. So we'll center that around it. I have some painter's tape. You know, I prefer painter's tape over um, the post-it notes. Not that the post-it notes don't work well, but it's just a bit of a pricey option where this roll of painter's tape that I have I think is going to last the rest of my natural life. Now I do take some of the stickiness off by putting it on, you know, rolling it, put on my pants, take some of that stickiness off, and so then um, we're going to go ahead and die cut this. This is my Sizzix Big Shot die cut machine. I can die cut and emboss with it. And it comes with a multi purpose platform so I can do different size thicknesses of dies. And for um, the framelits, I'm going to use it on tab two, as it says right here, or I call it no tabs open. I'll need a cutting plate. And I know they start looking kind of gnarly, but you can keep using them. Love that. They start off. They start off crystal clear, and the first time you cut into it, when you're new to it, you're like, oh, I must have done something wrong. No, they're called cutting plates. <laughs> you know, I put that, um, I didn't explain myself, that I put the painter's tape on there, so when I set this cutting plate on top, I don't scoot it, I'm just all set in place, and so then a cutting plate. And then I just crank it right through. And then it's just like magic when it pops out the other side, perfectly die cut for us. Yay, you can see the painter's tape let, let loose. It held it while I needed it, but then it let loose. And then I get these little edges. And see, I don't know if you, it just fell off right here. A really fine edge. So let's just clean them up. Take our, there we go, our little sanding block and clean those up. So let me set this aside and then come back and we'll finish our tag and then our treat holder. I was thrilled to discover that 
that size of the heart framelit layers with this, and this, this being the full heart punch. So I've got some real red card stuff. So that's going to let it show off really well. And look at this. How fantastic is that? It's not a huge border. I am tickle, tickle, tickle. So some snail adhesive. I finger where those ridges are. And we'll put that together. And so they just work together so beautifully. Okay. Love that. I love because a big heart on my little treat holder would have just been way too much. You know, we do have the 1 16th inch um, hole punch, but I'll tell you a secret. I Even though I'm looking right where I need to, I have a heck of a time getting it right where I want it. So it's just easier for me to take the paper piercing tool and just poke the hole with this. Then I get exactly where I want. I'm not trying to see through anything. And so we want to make that hole. Let's go ahead and put that in and make a good size hole. We're going to set this aside and then make our treat holder next. Here are the pieces we'll need from our Simply Scent Kit. We have our envelope, the two-sided envelope. So you pick the size you like. And as much as I love polka dots, come on, it's flowers. <laughs> and then they have little hearts on them. And so it coordinates so beautifully with one of the note cards that came with them. And since it's a Valentine, I chose that. And then we have our real red Baker's Twine already cut to size for us. So we're just going to use our bone folder. They're already scored. How about that? Love, love, love that. Already scored for us, but we want to score them on all four sides. And then a sweet envelope. Look how fun and quick these are if you're going to do the cards. So um, we're going to take this. Let's just go ahead and put a little bit of snail tear that down and then our little note card you can write yourself a little note on there probably be easier if you did it first because this will be bumpy and so when they take their candy treat out you can see your little note but let's secure that in also with some snail adhesive how sweet okay so now this is where it becomes the treat holder we're going to tie these together. So I need to come back with my paper piercing mat and my paper piercing tool. I'm just going to poke a hole right here. I want to make a good hole because I have to get that uh, baker's twine through it. And then over here. And so all we have to do is feed that through. I, I fed those through and when you make the holes a good size, like I showed you, it's really quick to do. The first, the first one I made, I struggled a little bit more, and this time, I, as I was showing you to make it, decided to make them nice and big like that, and just went through slick as a whistle. And so we need to feed this through too, and we'll tie that right on. So here's our treat holder with our sweet little tag, and look, I found this at Walgreens. I went shopping at a nationwide store so everyone could find it. And look, that's pool party. <laughs> How perfect. But this was the perfect size to slip right in here. Okay. Really, really like that. I would go ahead, though, and take a couple uh, mini glue dots. I love using my stamp and piercing tool. Just get underneath there. And it's a really good fit, but why don't we make it a, a very good fit? And I did want to put those on first and then try to slide it in. I thought that could be interesting. <laughs> and uh, and so, okay, here we go. It went down a little bit further than I want. But it released, oh, you know what, that makes sense. It would release very easily because this is not porous at all. You know, the plastic. So it's holding it in place, but I was able to to remove it. Oh, look, they'll be able to see their note just fine because it is porous. You know, it releases easy enough. Fantastic. How about that? The best of both worlds. <laughs> Speaking of the best of both worlds, okay, when you purchase My Little Valentine, I'll say this again, for only $9.95 in my online store, you're going to get the Simply Scent Kit, the Sealed with Love, absolutely for free, and enough materials to make 10 of these and still have some material left over because we didn't use these little die cuts that you could attach to there if you'd like. You could punch one out and put right on there to keep it also coordinated. 
And um, so you have enough to make 10 of those. And so this is $9.95. These are $7.95, and you get those absolutely for free. But if you want to make a whole lot more than 10, um, I was able to put more Simply Scent kits right into my shopping cart. And so you'll be able to buy more. Buy the My Little Valentine ones and get your free package of those for the, you know, for the 10 of these. And if you want to make more, pick up more packs right there with the, you know, the Sealed with Love Simply Scent kits. So go order those in my online store. And you need to do this quickly because these limited edition stamps in this promotion are only through January 21st. 2013 and that is coming up very quickly very very quickly and so then you can do this quick quick little treat and how sweet and how clever will you look <laughs> and it was just so easy anyway so go to my online store and uh, and pick these up before they're gone and you've got plenty of time to get these made before Valentine's Day so I'm Shelly Godby teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles